This is a demonstration of a new capability for making NX drawings into product templates in NX uh, 2306. So with this uh, June 2023 release, we have uh, listened to customers for a few years talk about the desire to wrap a product template interface around an NX drawing. We didn't do that for many years <laughs> and uh, intentionally. Uh, but we've had enough discussions with customers recently about how they want to use that, uh, that we've uh, relented. <laughs> we've uh, decided to go ahead and do that. And, uh, and so this is a little example of that. Um, so this is a little, a little coupler part. This goes with a, a system of, of rods uh, that, uh, that build up some frames. And this is obviously a connector where one rod will go through this side and get held in place by a couple of screws. And uh, another rod will go through here at a 90 degree angle and, and be held in place by a couple more screws and, and so forth, clamped into place on the end uh, as well. So um, th there's a drawing of this one that's this drawing here. OK, and, uh, and and you'll notice that this drawing part here is also a product template. That's new, right? This is the thing that we've enabled that uh, we had intentionally turned off before. Now, as you I'm sure you know, product templates fundamentally are going to be manipulating expressions within the part. And, uh, and so this is a, a situation where you'll want to have the uh, expressions um, turned on within the drafting environment. And there's a, a customer default that will let you do that. Um, once you've got that turned on, uh, then you'll be able to author these uh, nicely. And, uh, and this is uh, a few things that you might, might choose to do with this. Okay, so in this particular little drawing configuration dialog for the for this drawing, this is specific to this drawing. There are a couple different three different scenarios here. Um, one is the concept that uh, we may be making this clamp, for instance, uh, manufacturing this clamp for a few different companies, and uh, and as such, uh, there may be a few different customers out there that have, for instance, their own part numbers associated with this particular one. Uh, and so this particular one here, we're manufacturing for Acme and they've got this part number. Uh, and what we can do is uh, have, of course, uh, some string expressions in the part that are uh, driving this customer name and this part number uh, out here and uh, replace those customer, sorry, replace those string expressions. And, uh, and as we do that, we'll, we'll of course see the, uh, the, the notes uh, and this label down here also update, right? So this gets us this kind of an interaction where if we're gonna go and do the True Trust version here, for instance, uh, we can see the customer name and the part number change uh, as we go to these different um, uh, end customers here, for instance, right? So put out the drawing, for instance, in, in a format for, for different, uh, different customers. That's one, one thought. Uh, while we're here with the notes, <laughs> real simple one here. Right now, these notes are all in English. Um, we do have some customers who want to be able to swap some notes on the drawing based on language, and, uh, and that's which is kind of an interesting thing. We've not added a, an auto translate feature or anything like that into NX, but we do have the ability to suppress and unsuppress notes based on an expression. And so, uh, so I've got a set of notes here that allow us to swap, for instance into a set of Spanish notes here based on the fact that we're just suppressing the English ones and unsuppressing the Spanish ones, for instance, or doing the same kind of thing with, with some Japanese notes, for instance, right? They're the same basic notes, but just expressed in different languages. Uh, and again, we're just suppressing and unsuppressing uh, some notes there by expression. So suppression by expression is a thing. We can do that with notes. We can do that with dimensions and, and some other objects inside uh, inside here. The third one is this hardware one that's kind of an interesting one. This one is just, uh, let me expand up here, and you'll see uh, we have some some of these components up here. There's some socket head cap screws and some nuts and and uh, and so forth that are that are holding this together, not holding it together, but are, are attached to this for the purpose of attaching it to the rods, right? Clamping the rods in place and, and then holding it along the rods. And, uh, and we can show this drawing here optionally with the hardware in place or without the hardware, right? So again, here there's a, an, an expression that's a zero one uh, toggle expression that we can either uh, include the hardware in this drawing or not include the hardware in this drawing. And either one of those is okay, right? Uh, so we have a parts list down here where you see we have a coupler and then all of the, the, the screws and, and the nuts uh, here in the parts list. 
Uh, those are also visible in the, the all of the views here, all right? And as we uncheck this here, we'll see those hardware bits disappear from the views. We're actually, we're going to see them suppressed up here in the Assembly Navigator. Uh, it'll remove it from the parts list. We'll remove those from the views, of course, and we'll have a, a somewhat simplified drawing here, right, as we do this. So we'll uncheck that, uh, and again, uh, we see all the hardware disappear. We get a cleaner view up here, and the, the parts list, of course, now is down to just the one part. So these are a few different things, right, that we've talked about with customers that want to be able to do. Be able to, get, again, configure a drawing by customer, uh, drive that with, uh, with, with expressions. Um, again, use suppression by expression for various types of obje objects. I've done that with notes here. We can do that with, uh, with dimensions as well. And then also, uh, things like suppressing and unsuppressing certain components, uh, in, in variations of a, of a drawing. On the customer one here, just for fun, uh, this one, I, I did this using a parameter table. So this particular one, we've got a parameter table out here that's these customer part numbers, uh, inside there. Uh, again, there's a customer name and a customer part number. These are both in there as, as string expressions. Uh, we can do string expressions in these parameter tables in NX2003, 2306. And, uh, and each new customer is just represented as a configuration within this table, right? Uh, so that's how we're, we're replacing the, uh, the, the values of those. And then again, those will drop into the notes here, uh, on the backside. Okay. So, uh, that's the, the new capability. Again, wrapping a, a feature template, uh, UI around a drawing part specifically, right? New in NX2306. So I hope you find that useful.